Hey, what's up? I'm KBHD here on SuperSaf TV. What's up, guys? This is Linus on SuperSaf TV. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Conor Sigala here on SuperSaf TV. What's up, Saf? Casey Neistat here. What's up, guys? This is Jenna Ezeric on SuperSaf TV. What's up, everyone? It's Jaime Rivera from Pocket Now here on SuperSaf TV. Agent 47 here on SuperSaf TV. What's up, guys? This is Austin Evans on SuperSaf TV. What's up, guys? This is Faisal Asif from The Cave, Tech Pills on SuperSaf TV. What's up, guys? Michael Fitz on Super Saf TV. What's up guys? This is John Rettinger on Super Saf TV. This is Tom the Tech Chap on Super Saf TV. What's up guys? It's I Justine on Super Saf TV. Hey there guys, it's Mr. Q, your friendly neighborhood Qatari here from Rakami TV here on Super Saf TV. Oh wait, wait, wait. Super Staff style, baby. What's up guys, Saf here on Super Saf TV and it's the one you've all been waiting for, the end of year Super Staff style collaboration where we find out which smartphones some of your favorite YouTubers choose to use 2022 edition. Now, as always, there will be two parts to this video. In this video, we'll be looking at just smartphones, but in the next video, we'll be looking at the best tech of 2022, not including smartphones. Now, if you wanna be one of the first to see that, then be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Right, to kick things off, which are the smartphones that I choose to use? Well, I do have two SIM cards and I have one SIM card in an iPhone and one in an Android phone. The iPhone is very simple. It is the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I had the iPhone 13 Pro Max before that and I really do like the 14 Pro Max. It's got one of the best displays out there. I do like the dynamic island, makes it look very unique. And it's also one of the brightest displays out there, which is great for me. I also feel that the iPhone has the best all round camera package for images and video. And it still has excellent battery life, although it's not as good as the 13 Pro Max. Now on the Android side of things, it is always tough because I'm changing so many Android smartphones throughout the year for review. But the device that my SIM card keeps going back into is the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now the S22 Ultra was actually one of the first smartphones that came out this year, but it still holds up today. It ticks all of the boxes, you've got a great display, great build and design, amazing cameras with some of the best zoom on any camera. And this year, we do have the S Pen enclosed within the device, which essentially makes it a note. And being a fan of the Note series for many years, this is great news for me. I may not use the S Pen all the time, but I love it for some quick doodles or for editing images. That's me, let's see what the others have picked. What's up guys, this is Austin Evans on Super Saf TV, and my smartphone of choice going into 2023 is the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. I love this phone. I've loved it ever since the very first version of the Z Flip came out for a bunch of reasons. First of all, it is absolutely tiny, which I really appreciate. But on top of that, it's a terrific phone. The cameras have gotten better this year. The battery life has gotten a whole lot better. And it has all the functionality with the flipping and the folding and its, its own tripod. Like, I love this phone and I will be shocked if another non-Z Flippy device makes its way permanently into my pocket going forward. This thing is here to stay. What's up guys, this is John Rettinger on Super Saf TV. My favorite phone of the year, the one that I'm using most is probably a little boring, iPhone 14 Pro Max. You know it, it's got good battery life. It's been in my pocket since it came out. Hey there everyone, it's Mr. Q, your friendly neighborhood Qatari here from Rakhmi TV here on Super Saf TV. I'm an iPhone user, so I really do love my iPhones and I've got the iPhone 14 Pro here because I need the latest and greatest. However, this is not the phone that I'm going to recommend. The phone that I'm gonna recommend is this one right over here. It's the iPhone 13 mini. It's still a 2022 phone because Apple still sells it this year and the reason why I love it is because it's so tiny, it's so slim. There is no phone as powerful as this. What's up guys, Michael Fisher on Super Saf TV, AKA Captain Two Phones, so my answer contains two phones. I feel like we've done this before. I feel like last year it was the same thing, but Galaxy Z Fold 4, Galaxy Z Flip 4. This one for getting work done on the work days, leaving my laptop at home a little bit. This one for nights and weekends when I want to be able to put it in my pocket and also take the occasional dumb selfie that we influencers like for some reason. Oh, I said it. I said the word. Doesn't feel good. Hey, what's up guys? This is Conor Sigala here on Super Soft TV. Uh, some of you are wondering what's my Pez now and smartphone for 2022. Yes, he's the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Look at it here. 
all black, full of sexiness, just like me. This phone has a lot of powerful features. You have the head pen, which you can use and sign checks and cross and cancel people out of my life. Plus the camera with that zoom lens, you know, I can go and peer deep into the jungle with this. Awesome phone for awesome guy like me. Thank you very much. Agent 47 here on SuperSaf TV. The smartphone I've been using and the one I keep in my pocket is the Note 10 Plus. This phone was released back in August of 2019, making it almost three and a half years old. And you might be asking yourself, hey, Agent 47, why do you keep a phone that old in your pocket? And my philosophy is if it's not broken, we don't need to fix it. This phone is working just fine and can hold its own against the flagships of today so I plan on keeping it for even a while longer. The security updates supposedly go for five years, so as long as I don't break it and or lose it, this will be my phone for the foreseeable future. What's up guys, this is Jenna Ezeric on SuperSaf TV and my 2022 smartphone choices are the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. Now I am mainly an iOS user, but I always have an Android phone on me. And I will say I've dropped the iPhone 14 Pro Max face down at least 15 times and it has not shattered. So very impressed with the durability. But with the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip, I just love how compact it is. I love how practical it is. And it's just a really fun device. So that is why those are my two smartphone choices of 2022. I'm just going to quickly interrupt to remind you that there will be a second part to this video. You don't want to miss it, so do subscribe and hit that bell icon. And there's going to be lots more collaborations like this coming up in 2023. Back to the flow. What's up, Saf? Casey Neistat here. What phone I use? I, yeah, I use an iPhone, like whatever the new iPhone is. I think iPhone's fine. I prefer Android operating system better. I like Android more than I like iOS. I just find it to be more dynamic, but... Here in the States, everyone uses iMessage. So if you have iMessage, you can have conversations and you're part of group, group dialogues and things like that. If you don't, you just cease to exist. So I use an iPhone, but I think I'd rather use Android. I just feel completely bullied into the iPhone ecosystem and I'm stuck there. It's not a bad phone. I like my iPhone. I just wish that I, I, um, I wish I could, I could go all Android without alienating myself from all of the uh, conversations that I'm having uh, on iMessage with everyone I know. What's up guys? This is Faisal Asif from The Cave, Tech Pills on Super Saf TV. When it comes to my favorite smartphone for the year 2022, due to some logistics here in the region, there are some key players who keep to be key players. And there are global players who are not present in Saudi in a big way because they didn't decide to be here in a big way. Like for example, Google and their Pixel, they're not here. So my choice of the best smartphone for the year might be so different due to logistical regions. So here I can say it's the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. It's the Note comeback. It's one of the best smartphones with sustainable performance and literally features that gives a lot to consumers. This is Tom the Tech Chap on SuperSaf TV. And for my phone of the year, I wanna give three shout outs to the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. I think this is one of the best, if not the best folding phones you can buy. And that, you know, normal actual people might wanna buy and use, not just tech reviewers. Also, iPhone 14 Pro Max. This is my daily driver right now. I love it, but it's not significantly better than the 13 series and it's very expensive. My phone of the year is a Pixel 7 Pro. Better battery life, still not the best, but just the combination of the software, the support, the camera, the design, I love this guy. So for me, Pixel 7 Pro. What's up guys? It's I Justine on Super Saf TV. Would it be a surprise to you if I said that the iPhone 14 Pro Max was my, was my choice? No, no one's surprised. Not a single person, no one, absolutely no one is surprised. I'm shocked. Obviously, I do have an eye in front of my name, but I do love reviewing and checking out other phones. But for me, I mean, I love the iPhone. It works really great in my Mac ecosystem to be able to airdrop photos, videos, and content while I'm editing. It just does what I need it to do. It takes great photos, it takes great videos. And of course, we just love to see those blue eye messages, don't we? Hey, Super Zef, did you get these glasses back in stock yet? I've got the edition ones over here, but uh, you're killing it. Hopefully they are. People want them. What's up guys, this is Linus on Super Saf TV. The 2022 smartphone that I've chosen to use is nothing. Well, sorry, not 
the nothing phone one, but actually just none of them. It isn't perfect, but I just couldn't find a compelling reason to upgrade from my Galaxy Z Fold 3. And I think we've reached the point where annual upgrades aren't really needed anyway. So I'm gonna ride this one out. What's up everyone, it's Jaime Rivera from Pocket Now here on SuperSaf TV. Favorite smartphone is always a tie because I carry two phones. So Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 because it's finally a great smartphone that I can turn into a great tablet with a stylus when I need to, which is pretty often. But then I know the second one is kind of odd, but iPhone 14 Plus. I've always wanted the largest iPhone on a lighter build as my messaging workhorse, and with nearly two days of battery life, it doesn't get better than this for me. Again, Saf, thank you so much for having me. Hey, what's up? MKBHD here on Super Saf TV. Believe it or not, the smartphone that I've used the most out of any other during the calendar year 2022 by choice has been the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. Not the newest thing in the world, but I really like this thing, and I use it pretty much all the time up until Pixel 7 Pro was announced and released, and then that's been the one that's been my main Android phone ever since. I'm shooting this on an iPhone 14 Pro. That's kind of a given for the iPhone in my pocket. But yeah, great camera on this phone, great screen, love the software features, and it's been rock solid since I got it. So Pixel 7 Pro, also lots of dust around the camera. That's okay. So there we have it. The smartphones that some of your favorite YouTubers choose to use 2022 edition. What's interesting is that many actually chose to use smartphones from before 2022. What are your favorite smartphones of 2022 or the ones you choose to use, which may be from before? Drop me a comment below, let me know. As always, a huge thanks to all of my friends for taking part in this video yet again. This is the eighth year running that we've had this series and God willing, it will carry on for many, many more years. If you want to see my top five favorite smartphones of 2022, that video will be linked here, as well as another collaboration linked here. Thanks for watching, this is Saf on SuperSaf TV. And I'll see you next time. Keep doing God's work, Saf. You're the best.